Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Welcome to my channel. So today I kind of want to discuss the two different realities of politics. A lot of Americans are pretty polarized depending on what news they watch. A great example is Sondland and the whole quid pro quo, quid pro quo, no quid pro quo. So if you remember in his opening statement, he said, yes, I believe there was quid pro quo. I believe there was no quid pro quo. So if you watch Fox News, you are of the opinion that the Republicans have made a bombshell and that the, Repub uh, the, the Democrats are being curb stomped by the Republicans. And then if you watch CNN, you are going to think, yes, there was quid pro quo. What is my take on it? Well, if you remember, uh, it was in his opening statement that he said that there was quid pro quo. That almost sounded like a sound bite to me that he purposely put that in there. Because why would you say that, in my opinion, there was quid pro quo, even though Trump said, hey, no, on the phone call to uh, Ukraine, Trump said specifically, I don't want any quid pro quo. Uh, was it ill-advised for Trump to talk to them like that? Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, I would think that Trump was probably of the opinion that here these people tried to screw me over and here I have an opportunity to, to kind of nudge them a little bit. Was it ill-advised? Yes. Was it illegal? No. Was it bribery? No. It wasn't. Fox News just so happens to be right on this particular subject. But it's not really about who was right. It's about how the American people's thought is being kind of moved to a certain direction depending on which news you watch. It used to be that the news was the watchdogs of the United States, that they were the ones that stood in front of the government and, and said, hey, you know, we're going to report on this to the American people uh, in a nonpartisan way. But that changed once news became big business. You see, when news became big business, they don't care about the news. They care about their investors. And they don't care if they get the news right or wrong. It doesn't matter. They get paid no matter what. That's why I encourage people to watch independent news. Go ahead and watch the big news. But if you're going to watch Fox News, watch CNN too on the same subject. Uh, independent news, I believe in my opinion, you know, YouTube news is quite a bit better. Why? Because we have to get it right. If we don't get it right, we don't get viewers. If we don't get viewers, we don't make any money. These big corporations, Fox News, CNN, they publish fake news. It goes out there. They get the clicks. They get the views. It gets paid for regardless. They don't care if they get good news or not. They only care about clicks. They care about making that dollar for y'all, as they say. And, and it's just a sign of the times. It really is. You got one camp that uh, says, oh, well, there was quid pro quo and Fox News is lying. Then you got people who watch Fox News. There was no quid pro quo, and CNN is lying. It's fake news. Each side is calling fake news. Each side is saying that the other side is lying, and it's all fake. And nobody's really willing to get together and discuss it and say, hey, what are the actual facts? Everybody's stuck to these partisan lines, and that's really crappy politics, in my opinion. Nobody's really listening to anybody else. Everybody's trying to go after that gotcha moment, that bombshell and in fact this whole hearing cnn fox news abc nbc other outlets they've been reporting these bombshell hearing things and i watched the entire hearing and there's no bombshells the gist of the hearing that i get is there's a whole big hoopla about nothing it's like a show it's a a horse and pony show it's a flea circus. And I, I just, I, I hate that. I hate that the mainstream media is really misleading the American people. I mean, really they are. Sometimes they get it right on the nail, and I'm happy when they do. But anymore, you have got to check two or three sources on each news source to get the full story. They will cut out certain sound bites, take Sondland's first little bit of testimony and say, ha ha, see, we got you. There was quid pro quo. Let's hang Trump up by his toes tomorrow. And then you got the other side saying, well, no, Sondland 
uh, lied. He said there was no quid pro quo. And then when he was grilled about it, he said, no, Trump said that there was no quid pro quo. In fact, he told the Ukrainians that he didn't want any quid pro quo. So which is true? Well, Fox News just so happens to be correct on this one. And I am not partisan. I'm, I'm centralist. I'm like in the middle looking at both sides. It's like watching two neighbors squabble over the trash in each other's backyard. And one neighbor is standing on a pile of trash looking over the fence at the other neighbor's yard saying, hey, your yard is trash. You got all this trash. You need to clean it up. And then the other neighbor is standing on their pile of trash looking over into that neighbor's yard saying, well, your yard has trash. Why don't you clean up your trash? We need to clean up our own trash before peeking over the fence, standing on top of our trash to tell the neighbor that their yard is trashy. We need to be able to look at multiple sources. Educate yourselves because you are absolutely worthwhile of having the proper information to the best of your ability, to the best of my ability. Do I make mistakes? Absolutely. 100%. Do I believe that I am definitely well ahead of the curve as far as like seeing things for what they are? Yes, I absolutely do. I absolutely do. I have a knack of looking at things and saying, well, that doesn't make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, it, it probably isn't. You probably should dig into it and find out what it is. If you see one side that is solid and they say, it is this way, okay, look at the other side and what are they saying? Each side is claiming victory, but both sides can't claim victory. It either is or it isn't. It's, and the reality of it is it's just kind of, eh. It's not a whole lot of stuff. Barisma and uh, corruption, yes, absolutely. 100% truthful, there was corruption. As far as quid pro quo, it doesn't look like there was. In fact, it looked like there was more of a, hey, I want to make sure there isn't any quid pro quo. But those are my thoughts. This is about you and your opinion. What do you think? Do you watch CNN? Do you watch Fox News? Do you believe the Democrats are beating the Republicans? Do you believe the Republicans are beating the Democrats? Do you even care? Uh, I know a lot of people that just don't care. Personally, I don't care all that much. I mean, I did in the beginning. I wanted to see what was going on. Once it became clear that this was mostly just a, a hit piece, then it kind of got to the point where it's like, I don't care. But for you guys, I wanted to make sure I was informed, I knew what I was talking about, and that uh, I could bring you the news as unbiased as possible. Support your local uh, online media or your national online media. It's way more honest than mainstream media because there's incentives. Mainstream media, they don't care. They get paid no matter what. Online news, we have to get it right. If we don't get it right, you guys aren't going to watch. That's why online, small online news sources, well... They're, they're a good spot to start, a good way to get multiple opinions. And you get multiple opinions very, very quickly. That said, use your own discernment. If someone says something and it's like, well, that might not make sense, look into it. Don't get yourself locked into an opinion. Don't go uh, partisan and say, well, I don't care. Anything that people say, and no matter how much proof that they give me that I am wrong, I'm not going to change my, excuse me, I'm not going to change my point of view. You should always be willing to change your point of view when confronted with new, better, updated facts or arguments that uh, are well presented that make you believe that, hey, maybe my position is wrong. Be open to it. Be open to it. Anyways, that's what I have to say. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm trying to beat this YouTube algorithm, but uh, having a hard time about it. Uh, my videos get demonetized probably within 45 seconds of uploading them, really. Um, suitable, for, not suitable for all advertisers or completely demonetized. Sometimes I have no idea why, uh, certain words. So how do you help me? You engage, you make a comment you like, if you didn't like the video, give it a dislike and let me know why. Anyways, that's all for this one. I will see you guys on the next one.